Okay, good morning, students. Now today we are discussing in computer languages. So, languages are used to communicating with communication between one person to another person. So now here the computer languages are used to understanding the computer and user. Now here the computer languages are divided into basically three types. Number one. Machine level language. Machine level. Machine level language. Number two, assembly level language. Assembly level language. Number three, high level language. Now here the high level language. Divided into two types. Middle level language and low level language. So computer languages are divided into basically three types. Machine level language, assembly level language, and high level language. And high level language also divided into two types. Middle level language and low level language. Now first we have to understand machine level language. So machine level language and also is called binary language. Machine level language and also is called binary level language or digital language. So machine level language and also is called binary language and also is called digital language. So what does it mean by machine level language? So machine means computer. A computer understandable by only one language. That language is called machine level language means machine means machine understand the language is 0 comma 1 so 0 comma 1 is a binary numbers binary numbers means 0 comma 1 so that is binary level language machine level language can understand only binary language and also is called a digital language machine means computer a computer does not understand telugu hindi english tamil urdu or any another language so computer can understand only one language. That language is machine level language and also is called binary language and also is called digital language. Now here the binary means 0 comma 1. So computer can understand 0 comma 1 language only. So how to understand? So we can find out the one of the, we can explain the one of the example. So now first example goes to I have to find out I have to find out the some number. So for example goes to 52 is a digital number. Sorry. 52 is a natural number. So 52 is 52 is not a binary number. So binary number can only contain 0, 1. So 52 is a natural number. So how to understand the 52 natural number can convert it into 0, 1. So computer we can, find, we can enter the 52 that is translate to binary. So, how to translate? So, LCM 0 So, now here are right on the bottom to so 52 we can write 100 100 100 so 100 so 52 can written in binary system 100 and 100 so we can enter the any numbers we can enter the any numbers automatically computer calculate this process so this process can within the fraction of seconds computer can calculate the within the fraction of seconds so we can any natural number so 52 or any another natural numbers so this process is going to find out the binary number sir we have to i have to doubt so we are entering into a number sir if you want if you enter the some letters some special symbols or it means that means a to z capital letters are small a to small z small uh, 
small number, uh, small letters, and special symbols. It right, greater than, less than, equal to, uh, so backslash, forward slash, etc. So when we are entering into a this type of character, so how to calculating into a LCM? So this problem in this to solving into a in computer we can create the ASC double I coding. So ASC double I coding means American Standard Code Information Interchange. So what is the purpose of using ASC double I coding? ASC double I coding is used to every character, every character of small or special symbols we can create into one of the number. So that is means ASC double I coding, American Standard Code Information Interchange. So what is the purpose of using ASC double I coding? The ASC double I coding is used to we can find out the number. So every character we can find out, we can give it the one of the number. So that number is ASC double I coding. So what is the purpose of using given number? So if your number is given, we can create the LCM and let like find out the binary system. So that way to every character can assign the one of the value. That value is ASC double I coding number. American Standard Code Information Interchange. So for example goes to some A067 ID. So this is not a uh, actual number. So we can example have to write the sum of the number. So some A right 0 A 2 7. So sum of given number. So what is the purpose of given number? If the this number is assigned a value, so we have to assign the value automatically to creating it a LCM and find out the binary system. So that is purpose using ASC double I coding, American Standard Code Information Interchange. Okay, machine level language means computer can understand the only one language. That language is called machine level language. So machine level language and also is called the binary language and also is called a digital language. So binary language means 0, 1. 0, 1 using languages is machine level language. Computer can understand only one language. That language is binary language or digital language or machine level language. So how to create it a binary language? So if you given the natural number, so I have to given the 52 is the natural number one of the number. So if you want to given the any another number, automatically this process to find out the binary number. So if you enter the any, any characters, so the characters are to assigning it a one of the values. That means ASC double I coding. ASC double I coding means American Standard Code Information Interchange. So this is the machine level language. Now next one goes to assembly level language. So assembly level language means assembled. So different different type of characters clubbing into a one language. That means assembly level language can using into a capital letters A to Z. And assembly level language also is used to small A to Z. And assembly level language is used to 0 to 9 numbers and also is used to special symbols. So this type of characters, collection of characters means collection of capital letters, small letters, national uh, 0 to 9 numerical numbers and special symbols. So collection of characters is called character set. Character set. So what is meant by character set? A character set is a collection of capital letters small letters, numerical numbers and special symbols. The assembly level language is used to character set. Assembly level language is used to character set. A character set is a collection of capital letters, collection of small letters, collection of numericals, collection of special symbols. These are all collection is called character set. The character set is using in assembly level language. The assembly level language is example goes to operating system. We can creating into your operating system. So we have to use assembly level language. So what do you mean by operating system? So OS means operating system. Interface between software and hardware is called operating system. Operating system means interface between software and hardware is called operating system. 
so further classes we have to discuss in operating system now here the assembly level language means using character set assembly level language is used to character set so character set is a collection of capital letters small letters numerical numbers and special symbols so example goes to operating system so operating system creating purpose using assembly level language now third one goes to high level language so now here the high level language and also is uh, and also divided into two types middle level language and low level language so what is mean by high level language middle level language low level language now here the high level language means whose instructions are understandable by the user whose instructions are understandable by the user whose whose instructions whose instructions understandable by user whose instructions are understand by the user so user only understand instructions that language is called high level language whose instructions are understandable by the user so user means our so computer can uh, who is use the computer so that are users so now here are whose instructions are understandable by the user so that is called high level language now high level language example goes to java cobol pascal etc that are all the high level language now middle level language means whose whose instructions are understandable by the user and computer whose instructions are understandable by the user and computer so user and computer understandable by the instructions is called middle level language now example goes to c language so c language is the example of the middle level language now here the low level language instructions are understandable by the only user instructions are understandable by the user and computer now here the instructions are understandable by the only computer so simple high level language and also divided into two types middle level language low level language high level language means instructions are understandable by the user user can understand instructions that language is called a high level language example goes to java cobol pascal etc now here the middle level language means instructions understandable by the user and computer user and computer understandable by the instructions is called middle level language now last one goes to instructions understandable by the only computer so computer can understand only one language that language is called machine level language now here the low level language and also is called machine level language so once again i can repeat machine level computer language are divided into three types machine level language assembly level language high level language high level language and also divided into two types middle level language low level language now here the machine level language means computer can understand only one language that language is called binary language and also is called digital language so binary language means zero comma once using language is called binary language so this process is used to find out the binary Uh-huh. national number is converted into binary system now next one goes to assembly level language assembly level language is used to creating into using character set assembly level language is using character set so what is meant by character set so character set is a collection of capital letters collection of small letters collection of numericals collection of special symbols so this collection of character set the character set is using in assembly level language now example goes to operating system now next one goes to high level language so high level language means instructions understandable by the only user user understand instructions is called a high level language example goes to java cobol pascal now next one goes to middle level language instructions understandable by the user and computer so user and computer understandable by the instructions is called a middle level language example goes to c language now next one goes to low level language instructions understandable by the only computer so computer can understand only one language so that language is 
machine level language and also is called binary level language and also is called digital language and also is called low level language so these are all the computer languages so we can discuss in next topic goes to computer types thank you